Hello everyone, this is the one I got to show you again one nice freebie uh, plugin I make for you. It's called Magic Pass. With this plugin, you can make very easy pass. It's my 4D the unit with a few clicks. So let's begin. I click here my Magic Pass. You can see it's automatic make here the pass. Also, I want to show you the options. The options is very easy. We have the width and the high. So the width will be like this, and the high will go like this. Also, we have a PC. You can see now it's 5x5, five five, so it's 25 in the final pieces we have. So if I make 10x10, 10 10, I have now 100 pieces. You can see now also my pieces. Okay, let's go back. So we have also the rad. The rad is a, we have a nice, beautiful here run on the pass when you finish. So you can see now if I move this, I have round like cycle in the corner. And now I have like cubes like this. Okay. The space is the between the spas, uh, how the space you want. So if I move, you can see now I have a big space. And if I make zero, I don't have any space. So you can play with this if you want also, just what you like to do. The sub is for the shape of the pass here. For example, you can see now if I go very close, my shape is not very good. I have these lines. So if I move, you can see now it started to make a nice shape here. Smoothing, as you can see, it makes smooth. Uh, also, if I make zero, you can take some interesting uh, shapes you like to use also. Uh, the other thing is the sieves. Sometimes maybe you don't like to have the same sieve, so you can play. So you can see my my pieces change now. We have a geometry. The geometry you click now, we have a, we can see the geometry, so we can braiden if we want. So we can see uh, you can see how it's nice is this. Okay, let's make more interesting. Make it ten and make uh, also subs uh, thirty. So we can see more clear. You can see now how it looks like this. Very nice. Uh, we have the fixed UV. So the fixed UV is, uh, for example, you want image. Okay, I put, I put now image. You can see now I, I can't see anything because I don't use uh, fixed U. So if I click U, and also you can you need to go to here and you write C2. So it's known my path simply for the front. Now you can see I have uh, my image for the Max logo. Here you can see. Um, also, we can change the color if you want uh, here. You can see if I go here, this here color or this. So this is working like the caps. For example, if I put white and uh, make it black, I can write uh, R2. Okay. So now I have the round for the pass here. You can see my here have the line. Also, you can put all the pass. You you don't write anything and you use as front. So now you can see I have white. Okay, let's make a red so we can see better. Okay, and uh, you can also you can if you like you can put also here colors. C one or R one here. For example, okay, I make another one. I call this C one. You can see now. I have here my material and let's make another one so I want to cover everything so we don't have questions so let's put this R1 okay so now you can see the color how it looks like okay also you can see how it's nice this I make it, the mini the skin very fast and okay let's make this uh, space more smaller Okay, you can see now. Uh, okay, you can put some colors, add or maybe I is better. Okay, and I put a little bit space. Okay, let's make it also more, make more. Okay, and make a little space there. Okay, and you can see how it's nice starting to look like. Okay, also I need to make of a specular. Okay, let's try again. Okay, now you can see it's nice. Also, the image you notice uh, maybe scale a little bit because the size is not the same, so we need to change this width. We can see also here is a uh, 58, so we can write here 58 by 30, 36. 
So we have exactly the MSI. Okay, you can see now here. We have exactly the MSI. And let's make also more paths here. Let's make 20. Okay, by 20. Again, I have a lot of pieces. You can see now how many pieces I have a lot. 38. And now we can also we will can make a DWV. So you can say have every one piece so you can animate if you like. And I can do now. Also, if you know have geometry, we can make a DW. So we take the splines of the splines for the pass. You want to make something again. And last we can apply um okay, let's make this ten by five. Okay, so we have a little bigger, so we can see better. Effectors, so if I put, for example, um, a random effector inside my pass like this, the form uh, object, a fall of a, uh, you can change anything you like. So we can see now, if I move this, uh, starting uh, the pass to move around. So if I go to the random parameter, Okay, let's make it this and let's make it money is 500. So you can see now the path how it started bidding. You can play also with the fall of uh, the stuff, uh, scale also if you like to make uh, some nice uh, animation, very easy, you can see. Okay, you can apply also dynamic if you want and um, dynamic tag. The last thing I want to show you is uh, you apply dynamic here. Uh, you need to make all, and it's better to use on collision because the path is uh, too much uh, close. It makes sometimes explode. It's uh, in this pen what you use. So I use here also ring my ball. Okay, let's make this ball smaller. And I go here and I use on collision. Also, we can change the settings. Friction. I had uh, something like this, and if I play, you can see now the pass. Also, if you see this uh, still uh, here, because we need to change the size of the collision. So, if I make one, money is 100, for example, and I play, you can see now the pass is uh, going. But also, you notice the pass is don't going back uh, because uh, the dynamic is keeping here. But you can fix it where you make an enable. Uh, Disable like this, and if you don't like to have this, also you can make a TW this, and you apply again dynamic, and you use apply to Chandra, and now it's uh, back. Okay, now I need to change also the collision. Okay, and now we have it. Now you can see. Okay, so it depends what you want to do. You can see it's very nice, and the way the how it looks like. And um, okay, so this is the also I want to show you about the dynamics. Um, you can see here I can move, and also I can apply another random if we are, if I go on and I can move both and I make some nice effects. Also, I can I can say I can change my shape to something else and can make some bit like this, you know, can play with this stuff. Uh, I finished with a review. I hope uh, you like this plugin if I useful. You can download in my site, mitro4d.com. Thank you for watching and more plugins coming soon.